Hello my lovelies and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a capsule wardrobe video. The capsule wardrobe has become a very popular concept and obviously that's a very good thing to sort of get a better handle of our wardrobe and getting a more functional wardrobe and something that isn't focused on buying more and more. I'm definitely not doing a sort of minimalist approach to my wardrobe where I'm keeping only a very small set specific number of items and that is my capsule wardrobe. No hate to anyone who does that, that's great. I think we all need to figure out what works for us. And for me, the capsule wardrobe really works as a foundation that makes everything else in my wardrobe just work. I find that often we can have a tendency to be attracted like like these magpie sort of pieces, like sparkly things and really beautiful pieces. But if you don't have that like very solid foundation wardrobe of like basic pieces, it's very difficult to make these beautiful standout pieces work as well. So I'm hoping this makes sense. For me, the capsule wardrobe is very much about solving that problem of never having anything to wear. It's supposed to be all pieces that or almost all pieces that work together and it's just really easy. You can almost just grab things blindly and everything will work and you will be dressed in a minute every single morning. So for me, that is the real benefit of it. I will link the items below where I can, but lots of these pieces are old. I will try to find a dupe, but just keep in mind that this is not a sort of shopping list. It is to sort of pull out from your own wardrobe and see if you have enough of those basics to make all the other pieces work. I think this is especially great if you find that you often have the issue of I have nothing to wear then maybe you just have too many of these pieces that don't really work for your lifestyle or they're not really working with each other in the wardrobe so you have too many things and nothing sort of can pair into a nice outfit that is within your style and obviously this is my version of a capsule wardrobe that works for me take from it whatever you want but definitely don't go out and buy something that someone says this should be in your capsule wardrobe just because they say it if it's not your style if it's not something you wear then you know maybe skip it i'll also show you some sort of outfit examples here but there are so many ways of pairing these together that is kind of the whole point you're able to repeat pieces and create a lot of different outfits but i also love repeating outfits if i find something i like i'm gonna wear it a lot i'm gonna go sort of section by section so i'll start with tops obviously you might be able to see the white t-shirt that is hanging here a white t-shirt is kind of like a staple of my capsule wardrobe all like every single season a white and a black t-shirt really works i'd say definitely if white doesn't look great with your skin tone find the sort of off-white or white whatever looks best with your skin tone the colors in a capsule wardrobe for me are really vital because i want them all to sort of work together it's not sort of like too oversized but it's not too tight either so i find it such a great sort of happy medium where i can style it with lots of different bottoms without feeling like i wish this was in a different dimension a different sort of shape and then because we are into the fall season I have to mention a nice knit sweater. This is relatively new. I don't feel like it's so cold that I can warrant like the huge chunky wool knits yet because it just gets too warm. So these lighter knits provide still a little bit of warmth. I love the sort of texture in them. And this is a little bit looser, but it's not so chunky that I can't pair my coats over it, which can be a real problem when I have sort of the chunky wool knit sweaters because they just take so much space. And then I really have to think about what sort of jackets I pair with it. The final top I'm going to mention, and I know I could pull in like a button up shirt and things like that. Things that probably stay a bit more all year round in my wardrobe. I know I could, but I'm gonna go with a roll neck a jumper here and it is black. Again, all of these colors go together and I could do this in a beige, I could do it in a white. So the specific color of each item usually isn't that important to me. It is just, is it within the color scheme? If you think, ah, oh, black is a little bit too severe, so close up 
to my face then you know go for beige you know any color you like this is just a great again sort of lighter more medium weight knit and great for layering under some of the like the blazers i will talk about it's providing a little bit more warmth here as well because i'm not like totally layering up with scarves yet so the items i'm showing you here are sort of i've just gone a little bit on intuition what i have been wearing on repeat that is sort of the indication to me not sort of my wishful thinking what clothing do i wish i wore this is just what do i actually wear on a daily basis right now I'm going to move on to bottoms and I actually debated putting in this tweed skirt that I have on right now. I ended up not doing it, but I have worn it a lot. So I mean, I probably could. It definitely would work with everything here. Tweed is just one of those materials that just really works once it starts getting a little bit colder. But the first sort of pair of bottoms that I will show you is this pair of leather trousers. These are faux leather. But sort of in previous years, I have been wearing leather trousers that are more skinny. This is definitely a very wide leg. But I love this, the silhouette of this. I am, like most other people, all about the very, very wide leg this season. It is so incredibly comfortable and this is no exception this also has that very soft lining i don't know if you can see that um like a little bit of a plush but not super thick so it's not too hot to wear now the sort of waist here is elasticated as well so it's making it very comfortable and as i'm sort of looking at this rail i'm realizing this season, for me, the capsule wardrobe is very much about having comfortable pieces that still have like some nice silhouettes and shapes. And again, they go with every single top I have in this capsule wardrobe. So it's super easy and because they're not tight, I find them actually a lot easier to wear and more versatile. So that is also something to keep in mind. The next sort of bottom I have is this pleated skirt, which this is sort of like a mid-axis skirt. It is definitely a bit longer than a midi skirt on me, but I am fairly short. They're just so flowy and if it's very cold, I can even wear this for winter. I just layer some wool thermal underwear under it and I love pairing this with boots that sort of go up to my knee so my leg is completely covered. What I will mention is that whereas the leather trousers are black so they go with every single top I have, this is obviously as you can see it's beige and I find it more difficult when I also have beige tops because it can sort of clash a little bit so this goes great with the white t-shirt, the black top, but it's a little bit more tricky. So that is just something to keep in mind when you're thinking about what colors do you have for the bottoms and which are for the tops. But overall, it is just such a great piece. And I just, when I want something a little bit more feminine and flowy, it's just, it can't be beat. A pleated skirt is just beautiful and the length really, really is great for fall. The final item in my bottoms category and I know that some people might find it a little bit blasphemous to not have jeans in my full capsule wardrobe. Honestly, I just I go through periods of not really being that into jeans. Sometimes I really love them, other times I'm just ugh, I want to break and I'm not going to put it in here just because it's what everyone does. So I'm just going to show you what I do what's my style, what works for me right now. And it is this wide pair of trousers. Again, I'm realizing I have nothing very, very tight to the body. I'm just, I love how this has such a beautiful silhouette. It's great for sort of workwear and is still incredibly comfortable. It has an elastic in the waist. Again, comfort everywhere. It's a beautiful shade as well. I don't know why, but like, I just keep buying things that match my wall but it is a beautiful shade that is so easy to pair with so many different things and it has the slight pleating in the front as well it's nothing too stiff I love this sort of more floaty fabric again none of my tops are too oversized even if my coat is a bit oversized I love having something a little bit tighter again it is high waist and just incredibly easy to style with every single top I have. So I kind of have one but kind of two dresses. For me the sort of basic dress that I turn to for 
my full capsule wardrobe, I go for the sweater dress. And I have included two because I have one, this brown one. This is just the most gorgeous color. Again, a very beautiful neutral. And ideally, I do tend to vary between having something that is more tight to the body and something more loose. So the long one here is definitely a little bit more fitted. And then the short one that I will show you right now is a lot more loose. As you can see, a little bit better because this is on a hanger. This is actually a men's sweater. I have talked so much about this, you might have seen it before. I bought this from H&M in the springtime and I just kept dreaming about wearing this for fall. Obviously it is still like a very, very light in color, but it works with all the sort of jackets and layering pieces I have. So I think that's all that matters. If you prefer something darker, obviously that works as well. But as you can see, this has a shorter hemline. And when my sweater dresses have shorter hemlines, I tend to like them a little bit more oversized. This is so incredibly cozy and I could also wear this with some of the trousers, but that, that will be a very sort of oversized on oversized look, which is not what I tend to go for. I could pair it with some leggings, but again, just to stay within the capsule wardrobe here, this will be worn as a sweater dress. And I just really love sweater dresses for how easy they are to style. It is just pu pulling on one dress and then you have your best shoes and bags and everything. It's just easy and still very, very comfortable. I want to go over outerwear and I'm gonna start with one piece that I probably should have included in the tops. This cardi coat and it is much sort of thicker than your typical cardigan. It is a little bit heavy and it just works so well for layering. It's providing a lot of warmth for those days where I don't really want to go full on with a coat. It is so amazing to layer over and on days where it's a little bit colder I wear this inside so I'm still really warm. It's really long but it's not, I'm not wearing an actual coat inside, you know what I mean? Which I wake up and it's quite cold in the morning and I love pulling this over my outfits. A basic that is shocking absolutely no one. The trench coat. Do I really need to say anything else? It is a staple in so many people's wardrobe. Again, if it's not your style, don't get it just because all the videos say they love it. The trench coat is almost sort of synonymous with fall. They just go so well together. Again, it layers beautifully over the pieces I have shown you and it's not too warm. It's providing a little bit of like, it's not, this is not waterproof, but it's water repellent. So that's great because it rains a whole lot. Not all the beige colors will layer that nicely together. I have another trench coat that is so beautiful, but it's leaning a lot more green. So it just is so much harder to sort of pair with the other beige and warmer neutral colors in my wardrobe. So that is something to keep in mind if this is also your kind of color palette. A surprise to absolutely no one that has seen any of my videos before. The blazer, it stays in my wardrobe throughout every single season. But again, for fall, it just layers so beautifully. I chose both of these two. This is fairly new. I got this from And Other Stories. I think the haul will be coming out next week. And I love this because it's a little bit more oversized. It's still quite structured, but uh, it has that asymmetric feature. And because it's oversized, it just layers so beautifully over pieces that are a little bit thicker because blazers can get really uncomfortable if you don't have the sort of proportions right where you have a really sort of heavier top and then you have a blazer that is too tight. It is just the worst combination. It looks awful, it feels even worse. So I love having an oversized one for fall. But I also want to show you, this has a slight print, like the pinstripe, but this houndstooth blazer right here, this is a little bit more slim fit, but it has that slight fitted waist that I really love, some gold buttons. This is just such a statement piece to me and it's great for those bottoms that are a little bit wider that I have if I want something that is a little bit more fitted. But I love having a couple of pieces in my capsule wardrobe that has prints. Not all of them because it suddenly gets really difficult to pair things together. But this, I love this print. It's really classic. I love it in a blazer as well. The final jacket I'm gonna show you is this. 
a leather jacket. This one I have worn, again, I wear it for summer, I wear it for winter, every single season. But fall is just, to me, it is just the perfect time to wear a leather jacket. I've worn this a ton and I feel like it almost just looks better and better the more I wear it. None of that peeling, it just is a great, great quality, which for me at least is one of the more appealing things about a capsule wardrobe is that you invest in fewer but much more high quality basics. I find that I can have really special beautiful tops but if I have low quality basics the whole outfit just doesn't look as good. I mean technically ideally for me I would love to have a lot of the same basics in my capsule wardrobe year after year. So that would be pretty much the clothing. I debated whether I was going to go over accessories. I don't need to really separate them out that much. I pack away very typically summer shoes. I don't keep them in my wardrobe. So I wasn't sure, but I'm gonna include some of my favorite fall pieces. For me, this would be a lot more relevant if I'm going on holiday somewhere. So I want to include a couple of shoes that I wear on repeat. And the first pair I have shown on this channel for a couple of years now, I think. They are <clears throat> a little bit dirty. Again, these I wore yesterday. They are such a perfect staple. These don't obviously go with all my trousers because they go to the knee. These just work so well with my dresses and my skirts that I had to include them. I wear some kind of iteration of this type of shoe every single fall season. It is just a must have for me. I also just think this is such a great fall shoe because I have a little bit of a heel, I'm building some height, but it is super, super chunky, which I think is quite important when I'm choosing a go-to shoe, is to have something that I can actually walk in for quite a bit. So I only picked out these two pairs. I do also have ankle boots that I'm wearing, combat boots and things like that. So I'm not limiting myself to this, but I wanted to sort of more highlight these two. The other pair I picked out here is this pair of loafers. I have not been a very sort of loafer kind of person before, but I have been loving it. It just works so beautifully and I think it is a great shoe for that more transitional weather. This is the bag I have chosen for my full capsule wardrobe. It is making a lot of noise right now because of so many things in there. I'm just gonna take those out. <laughs> so it's mostly empty, so I'm making a little less noise. This bag I bought well over a year ago. It is obviously a very, very pricey bag, but I love it so much. And if I can only keep like a handful of bags, this would definitely be it. I also think it is just perfect for fall. The print is obviously very fall appropriate. I definitely couldn't get by without a tote as well, but this is something that goes with all of these outfits. But essentially having very little print otherwise in my wardrobe, I think having the go-to bag have a very subtle print like this is actually something that works really well and it creates a lot of interest. Let me know what you think about these items which would you pick for your wardrobe? In the end, you need to find something that works as your foundation for your wardrobe and your style. So hopefully this helps. I hope you found it interesting. Let me know what you think. As always, don't forget to hit thumbs up if you like this video or found it helpful and subscribe and hit the little bell so you can be notified every time I upload new videos. If you want some more outfit inspiration, as I said, there are endless possibilities with these pieces here but you can check out my Instagram and see how I style these pieces. I will link that down below. So as promised I will also show you some examples of how you can pair all of these pieces together into a little lookbook. Again this is not about going out and buying an entirely new wardrobe, it's just about seeing how many different possibilities and options you have from such a limited selection of clothing and hopefully get a little bit more inspired to take a new look into your own wardrobe. So as I'm putting together the outfits here I feel like I should definitely give a mention to my reversible Valentino belt as well. This for me would be a staple in any capsule wardrobe I 
would do first of all because i love it it's also great to have a belt also because this is reversible so you have two belts in one and also the buckle here is so great for sort of making a bit more of a statement out of an outfit uh it just really dresses up an outfit that can be otherwise quite basic so love this belt um should definitely have included it in the first place <laughs>